this is Tam Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire and I'm back to share with you another video using those little wild onions. So what we're going to do today is a soup that's really easy to pack with you while you're out on the trail. I'll be using a skillet but you don't need to be using a skillet when you're out in the bush. Use whatever you've taken as your cooking pot over your fire. So I'm just going to put my skillet here on the fire. I've gathered a whole bunch of the little onions and I'm only using this portion of the onion and if you see these this is like a, a ramen it's a different variety of ramen but all I'll be using from the packages are the noodles and the little bit of oil that comes with them Now we'll put in our little onions and we're going to brown them up. Now if you don't have something to fry in, you can boil them just as well. Alright, if you take a look at these little onions, they've already become translucent. It doesn't take long at all to fry them up and make them a little brown. Now the next step I'm going to do is just simply add water into my skillet. I'm going to add some freshly picked dock leaves. And we're going to let this come back to a boil and then we'll show you the next step. If you notice, the, the water is slowly coming back to a boil. And if you look along the edges, the dock is changing color. It doesn't take long at all for a dock to cook up and it takes on the same texture as cooked spinach would. So once these are all dark and wilted, your dock is ready. And then we'll be adding the noodles. Now while that's coming to a boil, I want to show you something that I'm going to be adding last. Now this is dehydrated cheddar. Now you can go to a grocery store and buy the powder that you would use in macaronis, the quick macaronis like the Kraft dinners. But what I did was buy good quality cheddar cheese, slice it really thin and put it in my dehydrator on some brown paper bag and allowed the cheese to dehydrate. And then I put it in my coffee grinder and made my own cheddar powder. A lot healthier and it's absolutely delicious. So we'll be adding this cheddar to the meal once the dock is cooked. So stay with us. Alright, as you can see the leaves look nice and wilted now. They're tender. So the next step is to take the ramen noodles. Now you can break them up. These noodles simply cook in the boiling water, so you don't really need to have it on the fire anymore. You could remove it from the heat and let it absorb or just let it sit for a bit. So you can see it's back at the boil. And we'll try to keep the camera on to show you how quickly these noodles cook up. see they're becoming clear. Instead of the regular ramen noodle, these are made out of rice. They're instant rice noodles basically. And now we'll take it off the heat and show you the last step.
set it here on the rock. The noodles are clear. And then, the last thing we do is just sprinkle the cheddar powder over top. And we'll mix that in carefully. Now we're just going to let this sit. And it'll thicken up. The noodles will absorb more of the water and the cheddar will help thicken the water as well. As you can see on the back side here it's getting real thick. Okay, we've had it sitting on the rock. You can see now the noodles have swelled up somewhat. You can see all the little spring onion heads and the dock and it's ready to be dished up. Here's a nice bowl of the wild spring onion dock soup and you can look in the fry pan here there's plenty enough for two people so for taking along in the bush all you need is your instant rice package onions dock that you find along the trail and if you wanted to bring along some cheddar powder that makes for a really nice flavor as well. This is Tam Wendo with Bushcraft on Fire thanking you for joining me for this video and inviting you to stay tuned for more videos. Y'all have a great day. Hi, this is Rachel Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. Hi, this is Becca Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. And today, my, since my mom made lunch, I'm going to make some dessert. What I have is some blueberry mix, and I had some oranges, and I scooped out, and we scooped out the middle of them. And so we're going to fill the blueberry batter into the oranges halfway full. And then we'll wrap it up in foil and put it in the fire. What we're doing is we're burying our oranges in the coals, but then we'll get a grown-up to help us finish covering them. Now that we buried our muffins, we're just going to put some sticks on top. Now we're going to let our muffins sit for about 30 minutes. And while we're waiting, we're going to eat the orange that came out of the orange. We let our muffins cool down and we took them out of the fire and then we let them cool down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap them a little bit and then take the top off and then set it down. And then just peel, peel the orange peel off, and then we're just going to peel the muffin right out of it. It's hot. You can see that it's done now, so we're just going to 
break it in half. This is very, very good. This is very, very good. You're gonna break yours in half? This is really good. This is Rachel Wendell. This is Becca Wendell. I hope you can join us for another video.